Hey y'all, this is Joe out at St. Bernard Acres in my tiny house. Uh, I wanted to give you an update. This is Sunday, July 12th. Uh, this was supposed to have been our first weekend without rain in like two months. So, yesterday I put the window in. Today I was going to come up here and try to knock out this mowing because we're supposed to get a lot of rain next week. And this gets so wild when, you know. So I thought, okay, let me knock out a real quick mowing so it doesn't get away from us in case it rains all next weekend. Uh, and what did it do this morning? Rained. <laughs> no rain in the forecast, but it sure rained out here. And it's too wet to cut right now, but I'm hoping the sun will come out. Breeze will pick up, it'll dry up enough that I can do a mowing and uh, then get out of here. But I wanted to kind of show you where I stand now and with it cleaned up. You know, I can't, I've mentioned in other videos, I can't stand junk around. It may be a construction zone right now, but at the end of the day, you know, put all your tools away, pick up all your scraps, sweep up the place, and the next time you come out, you know, the next time you go to work on it, it's a whole lot better. It's, you know, I hate walking into a mess and try to go to work. So I did, you know, clean everything up, sweep it all out, and uh, next weekend when we come here to go to work, we're going to have a nice clean place to start with. Uh, Gail and I are both like that. That's why you won't see junk laying around our homestead. If it's being used, use it. Put it away when you're done using it. You know, you don't just need to leave stuff everywhere. But that's a personal pet peeve of mine. I know it does apply to everybody. Some people it doesn't bother. I don't like looking at videos where it's just junk everywhere. So... What we've got here is a nine by, 11, nine by 11 and a half bedroom. That's what's going on back here. That's the size of our bedroom. And I'm putting a 36 inch door in. I'm gonna leave the ceiling, you know, cathedral style and put a, you know, drop a ceiling fan in here. I've got a couple more windows to put in, but this is basically going to be the permanent size of our bedroom, it is 9 by 11, with a 5 by 7 bathroom, which is, you know, along that wall, that outside wall, we can put a bathtub, we can have a, a commode, and a vanity, you know, and have a complete bathroom, a full-size bathroom in our tiny home you know that was one of the important things was to have as regular as we could get uh, 9 by 11 bedroom is fine for a queen size bed so when I do the addition onto the side of this when I expand it out then there will be a walk-in closet and, you know closet space for things right now there's not going to be any but I was talking with Bob, my neighbor Bobby, who's in the construction business. He came over and looked at it, and he likes it. He was surprised at how big it actually is. And uh, I told him I was going to put a 34-inch door here in the bathroom and have it swing out. And he said, Number one, he doesn't like it swinging out, especially when my bedroom door is going to be swinging out. You know, you're going to get stuck in one of the rooms. Uh, he said to swing it in. And he said, by the way, they don't make 34-inch doors anymore. You get a 32-inch door or a 36-inch door. If you want a 34-inch door, you're going to special order it. And I was like, damn. Well, guess what? He's got two 34-inch doors over there that he's not using. So I get one of those and I'll put it in here. And he also said, the way I was originally framing this out to put it in the middle of this wall, 
he suggested bring it all the way over to the end of the wall. Uh, that way, when it swings in, you're not going to hit the vanity or anything. Um, if you leave it in the middle, you can't open the door without hitting either the vanity or the commode. But if you put it over, all the way over against the one wall or the other, then you can open it, walk in and close it and not have any problems. So, fortunately, before I went further with this door, I talked to him and found out exactly what I have to do. He's a builder, that's what he does for a living. So, he builds houses, I listen to people like that. But I did not know they didn't sell 34 inch doors anymore and I was about to frame that in with a 34 inch opening not knowing that. So it's always good to ask people I guess. This is what all is going to be left. And with everything put up, you know, all the tools are up against the wall, everything swept up, saw horses are put up, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger looking than it was before. And we're going to put the kitchen on this outside wall we're going to have a sink here at the window and it's continue a counter over to that wall bring the counter down a little ways then have a full size size stove and refrigerator um, and have almost like an island here or something where you know we can eat at it was just the two of us. We don't need, you know, a dining room table to seat eight people. And we'll put a sofa over here. Something to get us by because once we move out here, that whole wall is coming out. I'm going to add on 12 by probably 24 feet. Uh, take it out another 12 feet going out. 24 feet long and that's going to become the uh, family room you know the living room then there'll be a, a utility room a pantry um, will all be in the addition once we get out here and then I'll add an, on the other eight feet I'm going to add a six foot extension which will be for the bedroom closets and uh, you know the linen closet you know things like that so it'll expand the size of the bedroom but only for closet space and right now as it sits this is 12 by 32 so it's just under 400 square feet of living space uh, we absolutely did not want lofts. We don't, every house we've ever lived in has been two story. And we are tired of walking up and down stairs. <laughs> we didn't even need a loft for anything. Uh, I will expand it out instead. But it's a little under 400 square feet right now. When I add my addition on over there, it's going to add for the, the living room and, and utility room and pantry. Um, it's going to add another 360 square feet. No. Another 340 square feet or so will be added on to it. Uh, when I get finished with it, we're going to wind up with a little less than 700 square feet of living space in this house. And for the two of us, that's more than enough. That's going to do us just fine. But, I mean, this would be big enough. Uh, just doing this would be fine, but we've got St. Bernard's who are house dogs. You know, cats who are house cats, so they take up more space. But that's our, our, our plan. I, I think these buildings are are nice they're a good way to go I'm glad we chose this route 
Uh, and we can customize it any way we want, you know. Uh, it's, it's not a bad way to go. I like the way they're built. The siding, my neighbor Bobby thought it was T111, but it's uh, uh, like a hardy board, smart siding, hardy planks or whatever. It's a cement type fiber board um, that is guaranteed for 50 years not to rot, mold, mildew, uh, warp, <laughs> you know, and nothing like that. And it's virtually maintenance free. Once you paint it, uh, you pretty much don't have to deal with it after that. I know from putting that window in yesterday, it's not easy to cut through. I mean, I put a brand new blade in the Sawzall and cutting out that window, you know, I might get one more window out of that blade and that's it. Because this is, you know, it's not very thick. It's only maybe a half inch thick. But, holy cow, is it tough. That was hard to cut. You know, it doesn't seem like it would be much. But it sure is. It's good stuff. So, there you see our house. What we've done so far. And what our plans are. And we'll keep it going for you. I'll keep making videos. And... I'll show you outside. Because I mean it's decent outside, but I need sun <laughs> to dry things up. I mean I wanted to get the trailer. Uh yesterday I had Alex's truck, so I couldn't bring the trailer home, but I wanted to get it. Because we've got more lumber at home we want to bring out here. Uh because I want to start on the skirting as well. And part of that I already have at home, so I don't have to buy anything for that. I just got to bring it all out here. But you can see, I'd like to mow. Am I going to get to? I'm not sure yet. But it's a good excuse just to hang out here for a while. And uh, Gail's in wheeling, cleaning house, and doing laundry and stuff. So as long as I get out of her hair, she's happy. And I can come out here and play.